Hey friend, <laughs> happy new week, happy new week, <laughs> welcome to yet another vlog and this week is my birthday week, my birthday week to all the 1994 babies, how are you feeling? It's time, <laughs> it's time, I am turning 30 in a few days and how do I feel that? I feel amazing, I feel so blessed, I feel amazing, I feel happy and blessed to be alive and to have gotten to this age i really really do and i want to tell all my fellow 1994 babies when it comes to your birthday the only thing that you should have at 30 is 30 years all the societal pressures that's none of your business that is none of your business at 30 you should have 30 years that's the bare minimum requirement all the other things to do you should have done this should have this and this and this that sounds like a theme kind of problem. Are you happy? Are you doing right by you? <laughs> Are you trying to be better every day? Are you trying to be better every day? Then that's it. Happy 30th birthday in advance to all 1994 babies. And to the ones who have already turned 30, how is it? How is the air up there? I'm really, really excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? I've waited for this day for 30 years. <laughs> And everyone keeps saying that is the new 20, but no, no, I want 30 to be 30. 30 is 30. And I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm blessed. So let's start the day. So for breakfast, I'm having this, this brown bread. I bought it from Naivas. And it says the five grain bread, it was supposed, it's supposed to be whole, whole meal. So, and I'm happy to report that it is not... It is not indeed wholemeal and it is so brown and that is color they have added color the only thing that i can see for sure it has is some seeds that i can see but other than that this is not whole meal bread okay although they don't claim that it is <laughs> they don't claim that it is but why 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 do they feel the need to add the color to make it brown that it does taste a bit weird it does taste a bit weird it must be because of the color so i would not recommend it i'm actually regretting having bought it but i must finish it i can't i can't throw away food <laughs> and it's not expired so i'll just zhuzh it up and eat it but please don't buy this bread it's brown and it's coloring and it tastes a bit weird look at how dark the brown is like what's the reason what's the reason <laughs> What's the reason? Like, just don't add color. I don't, I don't know who it's fooling, but definitely not me. And it does taste a bit weird. You see, the only thing you can see, we can see some grains. You can see them. But I don't think, I don't know why they felt they need to add the extra color. Don't worry about this one. I promise you, friend, I will replace it. I see how it looks. It will be replaced. I know that whole conversation about um, processed meat and everything. Yeah, I know. But the fact of my mind as a victim. And having a good time and enjoying. Just spread margarine to one, to one slice, just like that. So let's assemble. There you go. That's my breakfast. So I'll just take it. I'll pack this and have it on my way to work. And I'll see you later in the day. So as I go to work, I'll also be making some deliveries. Deliveries. So there's someone who ordered two candles and I'm going to be delivering this to them. This is how the package looks like inside. There is one candle. There. Then <laughs> there's a second candle. Then in here we have a 
thank you card and some instructions for the candle so that's what you get every time you you make an order you make a purchase yes you can carefully wrap and you get plenty notes inside with care instructions that's it It is Wednesday morning. Don't mind my, my compressed hair. <laughs> we have the head wrap to thank for that. Anyway, today I woke up feeling um, sad and I'm feeling a bit anxious just from a distance. <laughs> and I want to force my body to make me feel happy, to make me feel, to make me feel joy. <laughs> by exercising i don't know if you know this but when you exercise your body produces endorphins endorphins are a hormone naturally produced in the body and endorphins make you feel joy they can alleviate pain and they just make you feel joy and i want to manipulate the system by working out i can't feel like this the whole day i can but i don't want to <laughs> i absolutely can't feel like this the whole day but I don't want to and I want to manipulate the system yeah let me do that and then get ready for my day I'll see you after the workout it's not extreme it's actually like 15 minutes but that should be enough to get things moving so I finished my workouts and I can tell you I feel a lot better I do feel a lot significantly better and I'm here taking my green juice <laughs> as i do every morning and yesterday i got this book confessions of nairobi men and the author does say trigger warning some of the stories in this book may be hard to read and let me tell you friend the first story in this book i can't believe these are true stories i couldn't put it i couldn't put it down last night i read Two chapters and started at that one it is a very very interesting book i would highly recommend it i'm i'm, I'm only at page like i'm on I'm, I'm in the third chapter i made that chapter and it's a very good book it's very very interesting i'm happy i got it so yeah let's get the day started <laughs> let me tell you something this book i was dead wrong about be, the first story being hard to read the third story, I can't believe people are going through these things. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. If you can, get a copy of the book. If you can, oh my God. So it's Wednesday night and I, I'm happy to report that after my small, small exercising and working out, I felt much better. Like my day was significantly better um, due to the exercise. Yes, so I'm happy about that. And I did end up finishing my book that I started last night. So I finished a whole book in less than 24 hours. And I have to say, I don't think I've ever done that. Or it has been a very, very long time since I, I have done that. And I'm very, very proud of myself. <laughs> now, this book, um, The Real Stories of Real Men in Kenya. And I have to say that some of these stories are harrowing. Like they're so deeply saddening. Like they're, they're so sad. And I can't believe that some of these things are happening to people. It gave me a lot of vicarious trauma to the point that <laughs> I was, I, I feel like I don't want to be in the dark anymore. I don't want to go to places. I, don't, I just wouldn't want to be caught somewhere. You know, anyway, some of these things, because some men were sodomized, um, assault, mm, like molested when they were children, sodomized as adults. Where are we safe as the human race? Where are we safe? It opened my eyes to a lot of struggles that men have. And um, it was very, very eye-opening and very, very sad. And I wish that men could talk about some of, the, some of these things that they've been through. Because for me, reading some of these things was my first encounter with, with these experiences from a male perspective, okay? And I wish we could create more safe spaces for men to talk. 
because I'm sure men don't stop because there are no safe spaces for them. Some and some men don't stop because it's not masculine for you to talk about your problems as the head of the house, as the man of the family, as a firstborn son, as the only son in a household. Like there's a lot of burden that the men carry that I would not have otherwise empathized as deeply as I do now. And the black tax the black tax issues, the it's a lot. It's a lot. If you can, go read the book and um see what the men are going through. And I don't know I don't know what we'll do as a society because the perpetrators in this book, most of them were men. There were women, but most of them were men. So it's a dangerous world for everybody. For everybody. And I deeply empathize for the men. There are 15 stories. So 15 different men. And um, I have nothing else to say. Like, <laughs> I couldn't put the book down. And I learned a lot. My eyes well, were open. Anyway. My eyes have been opened, okay? Anyway, I'm about to have my dinner. Some people say it's a snack. Me, for me, it's dinner. I'm having noodles. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll definitely see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, it's Friday evening. And um, I'm here, about to do dishes and cook. <laughs> and um, my, my, my living room bulb, it's LED. And I've realized the LED bulbs, when they're about to die, they just become really, really dim. Did I say that right? Did they start becoming yeah, they start becoming really really dim. So I've been here climbing tables and chairs, switching them out from to do the corridor one to to the one in the living room and it's all dim and I've realized I have I have to go buy a bulb. And I'm thinking is this one of the reasons why people get married? So that they have people to change their bulbs. I think I think it's it's, it's a it's a good reason if you ask me <laughs> it's a good reason if you ask me climbing desk nini table desks tables and chairs is is not it as op as when i should be doing other things i don't know what but yeah anyway um that was not a serious conversation but it was a, it's a serious rant <laughs> the eve of my birthday and my last official day in my 20s Yesterday I was so hyped and so excited about it, but today I'm really, really just chill and calm and it's good vibes anyway. And I don't know what to say about my 20s. They have been rewarding, they have been painful, they have been joyful, they have been adventurous, they have been amazing. And I'm happy to close the chapter now. I'm happy to enter my 30s. Oh my God. <gasps> Children are turning 30. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm happy to enter my 30s. Do I have a solid birthday plan? No. No, 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 no. If you watched my video last week, you saw I spent all my money buying clothes. So that was my plan. To buy clothes. <laughs> so that's done. <laughs> it's done. So I'm just waiting to hop into my 30s. I was born, my mom tells me I was born around 2, 3 a.m. Yeah. I'll be asleep. Sound asleep. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll wake up 30 years old. What a blessing it is. I remember when I was in campus, I had this friend and we used to talk about how we wanted our lives to be, how, you know, our future plans. And at the time we were, that was in 2015, we were 21. And then a few months after that conversation, she died. So unfortunately, she does not get to see her 30s. And I hope she's resting, still resting peacefully. I remember that every time. And it still makes me sad. So I hear, <coughs> so I celebrate life every chance I get. I celebrating by I celebrated by getting myself clothes, and that's that's good. So so I I I don't know what tomorrow will bring. So let's see. So hey, the birthday celebrations are done. <laughs> Cake was it? Um, and I turned 30. <laughs> so I'm standing here as a 30 year old. And first order of business as a 30 year old. Do you have an iron box that looks like this? Do you see how it looks like? Like this. And you've tried everything to clean it, but you just can't, you know, clean it. It just, it's stubborn. It won't, nothing works. 
let me show you a quick and effective way to clean it so what do we need for this we need the iron box that's looking like this and then we will use a secret ingredient of the day is maramoja <laughs> maramoja uh, tablets and then just serve it to clean off so first thing you need to turn the iron box on so it's turned on it's turned on I want to set it to the lowest possible setting so that I don't burn my hands, my fingers, rather. So, set to the lowest setting, minimum. Then now we, it's getting warm, so now we do, get to clean up. I've set it a, a notch higher <laughs> than the lowest possible setting. I set it to the next setting. After that, so that I, because I need it to get warm. Be warned: when it starts smoking, you may you may start choking. Switch it off and then there you go. Clean iron box. Clean clean. <laughs> it's still hot, so clean. Clean iron box. You can wipe the surface with clean cloth if you want to remove the residue please 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 do this in a very well ventilated room and don't inhale the smoke that is coming from the iron box remember <coughs> this is medicine whatever fumes are coming from here should not be inhaled so please be very careful if you're going to use this method it is fast it is easy and i've only needed i've only used four of these it was very, very... You've seen how it was. The state was not good. I've used this. I wasn't using them to the end cabisa because there's danger of burning my nails, my fingers. So I've used four of this. And I have this. This is the result. Four of this. For this. Very clean. Um, here's the before. And now here's the after. Nice and shiny. Be careful. Be careful. Do not inhale the smoke. And do not burn your fingers. <laughs> this marks the end of this vlog. I'll see you in the next one.